Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Dead Rabbit V2 RTA by Hellvape and Heathen. So here's an already unpackaged package of the package that the Dead Rabbit V2 RTA by Hellvape comes in. Uh, let's look at the box real quick. So V2 RTA Dead Rabbit by Hellvape and it's also a collaboration with Heathen. CE, please recycle for those who are 21 or over or 18 depending on the country that you're in. Again, this product really does not like pregnant women. Please recycle. It's 25 millimeter. It comes with a bubble glass right here. And it comes with an accessory bag, dead rabbit sticker, and a user manual. Okay, so that's your sticker. That's your gasket replacement for the top fill. Comes with four spare grub screws and a bunch of O-rings. Comes with a flathead screwdriver and an Allen key for those grub screws. Right, and what else do we have? Oh yeah, the RTA. Okay, so really, really basic 810 drip tip. Top fill system, little arrow, just push forward and there's your juice hole. Okay, top airflow. So it stops on both sides. Same pattern as the Dead Rapid V2. It's got this little plastic uh, I honestly don't know what material that is, but it just looks like a plastic piece at the bottom that um, is supposed to stop heat transfer. Whether or not it does that, I guess we'll see. All right, let's get to the deck. Okay, so you've got the same style deck as the um, as the Dead Rabbit V2, and I think they also had this exact same style deck on the Yup RTA, which I think Heathen was pretty pissed about because it was actually a copy of the Dead Rabbit original. But uh, yeah, that's what they're going for. So it's got these cutouts right here. They're supposed to line up with those little slots right between there. And what that does is it allows your airflow to constantly constantly be aligned above your coils, right? So you've got, what is that? One, two, three, then one, two, three, four, five, six. So 18 holes cut out in a rectangular pattern right down there. And that's just gonna be whooshing down kind of top and below and above your coils. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick build lapse and then I'll take you guys back on top and I'll give you my thoughts. All right. Using this thing for a little while now and it's okay you know this is I can definitely see where there would be a market for this thing I mean for people who want something that's really easy to build on I mean I I built it on this freaking 
you know, mod upright and it just kept on falling over. But you know, if you just have it in your hand, it's really easy to install the coils. And if you want to snip from the bottom, you actually can because the deck is, or the, the post holes are angled upwards. So that's not really much of an issue. It's never going to have any leaking because it is top airflow, right? Um, the mouthpiece is a little bit short for my taste. It just feels a little bit weird around the mouth hole. But um, yeah, uh, juice capacity is decent. I've run about, I don't know what, 20 mils of nasty juice trap queen through this. And I know what that's supposed to taste like. So relatively speaking, flavors kind of meh. I mean, it's not bad. It's not, it's not like fantastic or anything. Um, you know, what I'd say this is really geared towards is just your new builder. Somebody who wants something, they'll just get them into it, give them decent quality, you know, not like amazeball flavors or anything, but just, just something that's solid because it's well built. I can't complain about that. The top feels super convenient. You just snap it over, that's it. And I mean, it's an RA product. I mean, should he didn't have come out with a Dead Rabbit V5000, 6,052? Um, probably not. I mean, he could have come out with something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting, but you know what? Uh, I think the Dead Rabbit's a staple and keeping it current is gonna provide some kind of service for, for those newer vapors out there who wanna get something that's current. They wanna get something that's new and they want something that's easy to work on because they, they are novices, they are newer to this. So for them, I think this is a great option. And you know, you're not gonna have leaking issues. A lot of people, when they get into RTAs, leaking is just that, that one constant, relentless nightmare. And you're not gonna have it with this. And it'll give them, that little, it'll give them those training wheels to actually get their wicking down, their wicking techniques. So yeah, I mean, I'd say you know, in that respect, this is a win. But then, you know, as far as like, you know, does it compete with the best RTAs out there? Is it, um, you know, something that I'd immediately go out and buy? I wouldn't go out and buy it. But I know about, I don't know, at least 50 other people who probably would. I own a vape shop, man. Yeah, but uh, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.